Hi, Yarnabees. Hi, Yarnabees. <laughs> Welcome to Sandy and George's Lifestyle Channel, <laughs> also known as Lifestyles of the Poor and Isolated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here today uh, to do, what are we doing? Okay. Bag o' Day, once again, has outdone themselves. They have done another questionnaire called Have I ha Have I Ever? Never Have I ne Ever. Never Have I it's Ever. It's a series of questions <laughs> yeah. where you start off with the Never Have I Ever, and then you have to ask the questions. And then yes. we've prepared with a, yes. both have a sheet, one that says Have Not and Have. So, yes. So we're going to work our way through them. So, oh, and also the questions are for ourselves. We're not answering for our, our significant other. We're not okay. doing a newlywed game today. No. Uh, we, we're just this kind of like confession. <laughs> so yeah, this is going to be bad. <laughs> I've pretty much done everything. So anyway, Which we'll find out. Which is not a good We'll thing. find out. Okay. I, have, I don't know what the questions are. So okay. here we go. Have you ever sang in the shower? Ready? I sing in the shower, I sing in karaoke, I sing to Sandy every day. That one's easy. He sings constantly. Constantly. And, uh, yeah. Okay. And I'm really, really quite good, actually. <laughs> so he keeps saying. Okay. The next question is, have you ever been scared of clowns? I would have to say, I have not. What, Pennywise doesn't scare Well, I mean, the It thing, I mean, it's part of a movie, so they make him scary. He's a, a monster, but if I see a clown in real life or, you know, anything like that, I'm not scared. I don't have the clownophobia. Uh, well, no, but... So no. you're scared of me? <laughs> wow. I never knew. <laughs> Okay, have you ever Googled your name? I have as well. Have you really? Yes, and what I found out is I do show up when I do a Google search because of the carpet cleaning business and uh, my time when I coach football and, and the rugby. But the actual, there's another George Hinchliff, exactly same spelling, and he is the... There's two actually. One is the head of the Department of Corrections for the state of Florida. <laughs> and the other one, which is a little bit more up my alley, George Hinchliffe in London is the head of the world famous London Ukulele Orchestra, which tours all over the world playing concerts and stuff of people all playing ukuleles. And that's true. Wow. And it's the exact same spelling. There's a lot of Hinch cliffs in the world. There's not a lot of hinch lifts without the extra C, but these are two that I have found. Okay, I haven't ever Googled my name until this came up, until the bag of day had done it, or asked the question, and I thought, I wonder what would happen if I did. So a couple days ago, I did. I should have known better. Number one, there's thousands of Sandy Clarks, okay? But the one that came up was Sandy Clark of Nanaimo, who Who's is a realtor. not me. She's she, a realtor She's a realtor. I have worked for her, actually, and I know who she <laughs> is. She's actually the wife of a fellow that I used to play rugby with. So yeah. it's kind of a small world. I knew a Sandy yeah. Clark before I knew the Sandy Clark. Yeah. So, so I ha often have people say to me, oh, are, are you, you the, the realtor? realtor? Yeah. And I was like, I wish. <laughs> Do you think they say to her, are you the crochet yeah, No, probably. No? I doubt no? it. Oh, well, maybe. Okay. Have you ever been outside the country? I have as well. Okay. I've been to Hawaii. That's the only place I've ever been. Uh, me as well, and also Washington State. You've been to Washington State. Oh, actually. You just I've can't to, go back yeah. there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> There's a border thing and yeah. sandy, ISIS, and yeah. all that. Stop it. Anyway. Oh, by the way, what's in our cup? Oh, coffee. Coffee. Mine's flavored. <laughs> His isn't. Mm. International coffee. Is it international coffee? They came out with Oreo creamer. Hello. Picture here. Um, 
Yeah, it tastes like like hot chocolate now. <laughs> anyway, okay. Uh, have you ever lied in a job interview? You have not. This explains why Sandy's currently unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> um, lie is a very strong word. <laughs> I would have to say, technically, I have. I prefer exaggerate to the word lie. Um, uh -huh. I've occasionally embellished George my... Embellished? It, it's hard to believe. Normally, I'm just as straight as can be. But every <laughs> once in a while, I tend to wow. embellish things a little bit or make them sound like uh, a lot more than they are. Because it's not easy being me. It's hard to live up to that. Uh, not going there. <laughs> okay. Have you ever lied about your age? In unintentionally. <laughs> I'd have to say no. Oh, sorry. I have not. Because I'm not ashamed of my age. I'm 59. I look like I'm not 59. I, I did it unintentionally because for about two years, I thought that I was... 49 or 48 she just can't add <laughs> yeah and his mom actually reminded me no sweetheart you're actually 50 yeah the dreaded five -0. So yeah so um yeah i it was a shock i think i even did a video on it uh it, it was a total shock to me and i was appalled and i went in the room and cried a lot and then went oh my god and a lot of you said honey Wait till you're like 70. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. There's only so. nine years uh, difference between us. And mm -hmm. most of the time, it, um, you don't really notice it so much. But sometimes I'll, I'll reference a TV show that I used to watch or a band that I used to like. And I get a blank look from like, who? What? Never heard of them. Never yeah. saw them. So, yeah. And then she, being the new wave 80s girl, I tried to ignore all of that as much as I could. But uh, anyway, we make it work. Yeah. Oh. Um, okay. Oh, here we go. Have you ever gotten arrested? Oh, come on. Really? No. Wow. Never. I'm terrified of the police. Wow. <laughs> I have. <laughs> we won't go into it. <laughs> uh, have you ever sent a text to the wrong person? Oh, <laughs> yes. I would say I have not. I don't. I don't text he people. Text. I don't like texting. He just learned how to text, and so he texts me every once in a while, which is really cute because he doesn't do it. No, I like <laughs> to actually have. Years ago, some of us who are older remember that there used to be this thing called Morse code, where you would kind of go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. But then somebody invented a telephone where you could actually have real live conversations in real time. And now these fools all want to go back to typing at each other. I just don't, I don't understand it. I don't get the appeal. It's uh, so easy to take things out of context. I've seen people, including Sandy, get into massive fights with, uh, with Tia and Ashley when they've been texting, when they've taken things the wrong way and they've gotten all upset. Yeah. So it's so much easier just to talk to people. Yeah. And I can't stand when people text me for my work. Or even send me emails for my work when my phone is always available for people to call. So Yeah, well. There you go. He doesn't like the technology. Technology. So I'm a Luddite. Yeah. Uh have you ever tripped in public? Oh. Sandy does it every single day of her life. So do you. And I would have to say I have as well. He trips in the house. <laughs> I trip when we, when we walk around Westwood Lake, I seem to find every route and <laughs> do the thing, but, uh. Oh, jeez. I, no, I won't get into that story. <laughs> okay, have you ever ran a red light? I have, and I have the photos to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually, we have a, one light in particular in the Nanaimo. To yell. On, on Norwell Drive, it's <laughs> he's, just the he's worst. He's trying to yell to all the people in the states. <laughs> it's a very busy part of the highway, and people just get going. And quite often, it's bumper to bumper because Nanaimo is the city of lights. 
not like you know we have a lot like beautiful lights we just have a traffic light every 10 feet yeah so this one particular area on the highway it seems like you just get going and then the other light turns yellow yeah. and there's somebody literally one inch off your bumpers you don't want to slam your brakes on and get rear-ended so you tend to just follow the train and uh, two or three times now I've, I've hit it just at the second it turns red and there's a big flash yeah. and bang there's a ticket it's so notorious intersection for red lights yeah. this one's terrible stupid <clears throat> okay have you ever cheated on a test i would have to say i have not as well you don't have to you're too freaking i'm just you're book smart yeah man. i have an eidetic memory so if i read something i basically never forget it so I have no problem doing uh, written tests or I tend to ace these things. It drives people crazy. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever had a lucid dream? And for those of you that don't understand it, it's like, have you remembered your dream? I think everybody has. Mm, not everybody. Yeah. I have as well. <clears throat> I don't tend to get a lot of them now. Yeah. I very seldom feel that I don't dream or if I, I don't remember what I dreamed about so yeah. it's been a while since I've had a real like woo I I remember most of my dreams but I'm starting to re starting to realize that as I get older and my memory's not so good I'm starting to actually forget a lot <laughs> so yeah okay when you're already living with the girl of your dreams you really don't have to you know <sighs> <laughs> okay have you ever had chicken pox i have yeah i'll tell you it's best to get chicken pox when you're young because when you're like in your teens or adult it's bad people should get everything you need to get your kids take them outside roll them around in the dirt and let them catch every damn germ there is because one of the reasons why we're yeah. having so much trouble with the pandemic is that nobody has any freaking immunity to anything. So it's one of the reasons why it's spreading all the overuse of antibiotics and, and I don't know. parents like, or people like Sandy that, <clears throat> Sandy was using hand sanitizer even before it became a thing. <laughs> Every time she touches anything, she's like, Woo! I, 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 yeah, especially with food. When I'm cooking food, I'm constantly Oh my God, if you touch hand. a piece of chicken, you need to be, you know, well, you do. deloused. You it's, do. Oh, yeah, oh God, she should have married what's your what's his name? Howie Mandel. <laughs> you know, that her and him and Sandy would have been the perfect couple. They could fist pump together. Oh yeah, right. A fist pump sex. <laughs> <laughs> Is this working for you? Yeah, yeah, baby. <laughs> do it faster. Sure. Okay, stop. Slower, slower, stop it. slower. <laughs> <laughs> harder, harder! <laughs> Stop! Oh my god! Okay. Okay, now can I be any. Stop it! <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay, now I We can't... are not editing that out, by the way. <laughs> oh my god, where are we here? Have you ever cut into a line on purpose? Ah. <sighs> oh. Uh, on purpose? I have not. And I have to say, that is my number one pet peeve. I've almost gotten into fist fights. Yeah. I will not allow people to bud in front of me. I will yell and scream. And We're talking about in the car, um, right? No, no. Oh. Cut in, the, in any kind of a lineup. No, I'm, I know, but are you talking about... No, I'm talking about even in real life. Like, if we're lined up to get into a movie or a concert oh. or, I guess, these days everywhere, yeah. I will not allow anybody to butt in front of me. I freak out if I see people try to do it. Uh -huh. um, and I call them out. I call them out. I don't let people do that kind of stuff. <clears throat> I've caused near riots in the grocery store because <laughs> the same as... The other one that gets me is when the bloody sign says nine items or less and somebody tries to go into the line with more than nine, nine items, I will actually cause a stink and say something. And I've yeah. the cashier quite often will try to ring them through and I go, no, wait, get the manager. And people get so wound up and so upset about it. But no, like 
I think people going out with I think sometimes. people need to follow the rules, Sandy. <laughs> like you follow <laughs> Except the rules. Me. I, I'm special. Oh yeah, you're special, all right. Okay. <clears throat> Have you ever eaten a food Oops, T my daughter Tia is texting me. Have you ever eaten a food where you've broken the five second rule? Sandy's never camped. <laughs> so I definitely have. Oh, whoops. Nope. I have not. Wrong. No, Sandy <laughs> will not. If it touches the ground even for a millisecond, not a chance. Ooh. Where I do all the time. I pick it up and show it to her, eat it. Because in my house, sometimes there was five kids. Sometimes there was only four pork chops. So if you're going to worry about, about stuff like that, you're not going to make it. You're not going to make it I, when I grew up. No. <laughs> you want to throw something away because it'll either brush the dirt off and eat it. No. That's why I I never catch anything and Sandy catches every germ. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, have you ever eaten an entire box of cookies in one sitting? I have. I have not. I'd throw up. <laughs> I can have like two cookies max. Because they're so sweet, I just, mm -mm, no. Nope. Not anything I do now, but in my younger days, I definitely have. Ugh. When I was a bachelor, and before I met anybody, a bachelor for like the week after I got out of high school, um, <laughs> and I couldn't cook, sometimes that was all there was in the house was a box of cookies. <laughs> so. I believe that. <laughs> okay, have you ever fainted? No, I have not as well. I'm not doing the signage very good. Have not. Yeah. <laughs> I've almost fainted, but I, I haven't fainted completely. Have you ever snuck into a movie? I have. Wow, shocker. <laughs> Was that like drive-in movies? No, no, no. Like you'd go into the multi-theater and you'd, you'd buy the ticket to go see, you know, Bambi and you sneak into the triple X stuff or you know, <laughs> stuff, stuff you weren't allowed to go see. Actually, the one that comes to mind was when um, um, Clockwork Orange first came out. Mm -hmm. That was very controversial. I think they actually wanted to have an X rating for that movie, but it was definitely restricted. And I remember I snuck in to see Clockwork Orange. So, hmm. Okay. There you go. Uh, have you ever been fired from a job? <laughs> yeah. 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 And you never forget it. No. I know the names of everybody who's who's ever done that. So. Have you been fired from more than one job? Oh, absolutely. Okay, I've only been fired from one. Yeah. Well. And it fired, let go. Fault. I mean, sometimes they say we're letting you go. Um, no, and that's different. When you, I lived through the 80s, so entire industries collapsed. I would show up for work and the place is completely emptied out. They've left in the middle of the night. Nobody's been paid. I've yeah, been through no. all of that kind of stuff. Not so much that um, usually that, you know, they'll say it's not working out or whatever, or we're letting you go. Generally not because yeah, I think, I, I, think I did anything wrong that I deserve to be fired or I was insubordinate or anything like that. I usually was a pretty hardworking guy. Yeah. I was the loyal guy that would show up early and stay late and work on Sunday. He's and a workhorse. All of that and I got buggered and screwed with everybody else in the yeah. end. So I found out there's no loyalty in the working world a lot of times. So Mine, so uh, mine was not my fault. It was sexual harassment. We uh, had a huge sexual harassment problem at my job. There wasn't any. <laughs> Jeez. Um, my, mine was basically, I was working for a car company. I won't say what car company. Uh, I was the parts driver. I was walking through the showroom and one of the salesmen slapped my ass as I was trying to get a drink from the water fountain. Customers saw it. Other salesmen saw it. I went into the office to complain and they fired me and said I wasn't a team player. So I got my little pittance of severance and out the door I went. So yeah, 
In the dark days before the Me Too movement. Yeah. So that was not fun. <clears throat> Taught me a lot. Um, have you ever shoplifted? Unintentionally. <laughs> I have not, but I have been with people really? that have done it. Um, with, I've been with somebody, they've, they've done it without me knowing, and then I've been pinched along with them, where I had no idea they'd actually taken something. And so we did the whole, in the little security office, calling the parent thing, and, mm -hmm. and all of that. I went through that at the... Uh, at, believe it or not, the Wolko store in oh my God. North Vancouver at the Capilano wow. Mall. I did it unintentionally. I, you know, it's one of those, you've got too many things in your arms and then you put something in your pocket and then you go to pay for everything and you totally forgot that you had it in your pocket and then you get home and go, oh, I felt horrible. Did I take it back? No, because I was too embarrassed to go there. So... I just let it go. It was an eraser. <laughs> it <was> like... <laughs> so it's like it never happened, right? Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just erased it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody. So that's all we have today. And that was fun. Yeah. We learned a little bit about each other. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a new symbol now. I'm going to oh, look at her geez. and go... Okay, <laughs> we're going now. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>